Oh wow, guys, I am so excited to be here. Have to TikTok <laughs> with all of you. Oh, yeah. My do it, do it, do it. Oh, wow, this is great. Okay. This is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Swag Show. This is the very first episode, and I'm here with my co-presenter, and she's going to be telling us what it is all about, and she's going to introduce herself as well. Hey guys, welcome to the Swag Show, which stands for Save with Amazing Grace, because that's what we all are. Yes, sir. So, yes, it is. Yes, yes sir. sir. So this is obviously a talk show for you guys, for the youth, and we're just going to be having a great time, having good chats and good conversations. So right now, I'm here with a few of my buddies, um, and I think they would like to introduce themselves. Yeah, so we'll start with you. Gugu. Hi everybody, my name is Gugu Letsu, but you can cut it short and call me Gugu. Okay, shalom everybody, my name is Edwin Berebe. Over here is your boy Ashton aka Archie. Wait, we're gonna call you Ashton. <laughs> <laughs> so um, today, guys, we're talking about social media. You know, we all use it, we all love it, we have fun, and we also need to be a bit careful of what we consume and what we're doing on it. So yeah, we're gonna be talking about that today. But first of all, what social media do you guys use? What about you? What social media do you use? Um, the social platforms I use would be Instagram. Oh yeah. Instagram, I don't know why I use Instagram, but I use it. And then there's TikTok for the reels uh -huh. and the, the vibes. Because everybody's using it. <laughs> yes. And then WhatsApp just for communication. And yeah. then there's Facebook. Just Facebook. Facebook is just there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think we all just is, have. Is Facebook even for young people, guys? I don't, it, it always, it's always strike, like, it's always stricken me. Stroking me, stricken me as like a. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's always like it's always like strike me as like a more older people yeah. platform. Yeah. It's like where it's, they share most of their false news. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 All these false news that's going around. Yeah, yeah. But, but then, like from my view, as a person who's using Facebook, I think it's 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 with. Or I can say it's you look at it from who you are, you understand, who the person is, because not everyone likes a certain thing or what. And for a person, I think it depends on what content you are uh, trying to share or what content you want to receive, you understand. So, me, Facebook, I would say, like, I publish my poems there, you know, mm -hmm. I put oh, my poems cool. there, so I have that's poems there, I put poems. You know, my nice looking pictures. <laughs> even though I don't care about the lights. Even though I don't care about the lights. It's about the confidence. Yeah, my yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. It's not with the person. Yeah. We like Facebook or not. We like Instagram or not. Of which I, I think, I wouldn't say I like Facebook, but then I use it because um, yeah. it's, it's good for us. Yeah. Yeah. It's good for us. 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 It's and liking Fair the enough. pictures and <laughs> moving on. And yeah. Instagram has become more like TikTok, don't you think? Like with the reels and everything. Like you can just, there's more TikTok on Instagram now, which like actually makes it more fun. And like TikTok and Instagram are like more, more or less the same thing. Just like, I, I personally think that Instagram is a fan. Like I think Instagram is just <laughs> trying to imitate TikTok because no. TikTok is just so <laughs> chef's kiss. Yeah, I mean, all of these social media platforms are imitating each other because yeah. I mean, yeah, if like, you look at YouTube, which is actually my favorite social media platform because of the long videos and like it's basically my TV since I don't watch TV. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so YouTube there's now like short videos which imitate TikToks and Reels. So I feel like they're all just doing the same thing. What oh, do you yeah. think? What but do you think? Uh, yeah. you know? yeah, I think it's the people. Because mind you, it's not um, YouTube to post it. It's people who post it, yeah. people with the hands. So That's we can't true. say uh, one social platform is imitating a other. We can say Uti, the people like the content on that one, so they want to see. Okay, okay. Let me tell you my experience. <laughs> let me tell, listen to this. Listen to this. So there's there's this other um, thing in poem I, I had, right? So I I did the poem. I sh I did a short video actually. Short video, I posted it on thingy. I think, I don't know, between, it was on Instagram. I didn't get a lot of likes. Mm -hmm. So 
I took that same post and I took it to YouTube now, thinking maybe I'll get a lot of likes there, you understand? Mm -hmm. So we might be saying what it, it's the, the site itself, but then it's actually the person to say, I didn't get a lot of likes there, let me try this other social platform or whatever. So I think that's the situation with this. That's that's my take on it. Speaking of mm -hmm. people and like, you know, social media, how much we like it, I think, you know what, we all agree on what we think and how Facebook's for old people. Yeah. Why do we find out from the people? Let's find out what they think about this as well. And I heard that you went on the streets and spoke to some people about it. So how was that? Like, what happened there? I mean, it was a vibe when I was meeting, you know, yeah. youth people. When I was youth, it was a vibe. We were wearing drip, 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 I don't know if that's an English word or English term, but then they did me wow. So yeah, let, let, let's go to them and hear what they have to say. Let me not say much on that. Uh, let's uh, cross over to them. Hi everyone, today we're going to go on the word on the street and hear what the youth have to say about the pros and cons of social media. Please come with me. Yo everybody, you are here with your boy Ashton aka Ati. Um, I'm standing over here with a gentleman. Um, uh, may you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Nkosi Zwani. Okay, um, hi Nkosi. So today I'll ask you a few questions uh, based on social media uh, that I know you will be able to answer. So I wanted to ask what social platforms are you on? I'm on Facebook and WhatsApp. Okay, so like, um, have you ever encountered any problems with the social platforms you're on, looking at mostly Facebook, uh, of which is the main target point where, where people are being hacked and all that? Have you ever encountered any situation of such? Yes, I have actually. I've been hacked uh, a few times. That's why I stick to a fewer social media platforms to, uh, to maintain. Oh, so you are saying you, you have used um, other social platforms before, it's just you, now you decided that to keep um, a certain control or have certain control over your, yourself and privacy, you are using two. Okay, so um, what would you advise uh, the young ones, the peers, um, our age groups um, on social media? Uh, on Facebook, for those that did not know, uh, Facebook has uh, security features that uh, prevent people from hacking your account. Mm -hmm. So you just recently just, you just go to your social media or like Facebook to the settings and you update your uh, security measures. Then it prevents anyone from hacking you. Okay, okay, I thank you. Um, this was where on the street with my friend Kosi here. Uh, stay tuned for more. Okay, here with me is Tani. And here is Messi. Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna ask you uh, basic questions on um, social media. So I want to find out what social platforms do you use, right? And uh, why that platform and what do you enjoy using when you're using those platforms? Okay, so I'll start here with you. I use uh, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Twitter. WhatsApp and uh, YouTube. Okay, so um, let, 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 okay, oh, from the ones that you gave me, can you just give me two of them that you enjoy using mostly, and why do you enjoy using them? Uh, TikTok and Instagram. Y yes. Uh, usually on Instagram, I'll be like looking into my uh, role models' uh, lives and liking their pictures, following people, you know, famous people and all that. Mm -hmm. That's why I enjoy using uh, Instagram and TikTok. You know. People's videos, like uh, new challenges with popping, you know, yeah. Okay, so uh, same questions uh, for you. I use Instagram, TikTok, WhatsApp, Facebook, Telegram, mm -hmm. and and yeah, that's all. So what what do you enjoy? Uh, uh, why why do you choose those platforms, and what do you enjoy? I normally use them for entertainment and communication purposes. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, so th that's uh, what my two sisters over here had to say about the platforms that they use. Um, stay tuned for more. Here with me is? Tuffy. Okay, Tuffy, I wanted to find out uh, what social platforms are you on? I'm on uh, Facebook, I'm on Instagram, and I'm on YouTube. Okay, um, can you tell me what you enjoy on those platforms? Uh, they just, they're nice. <laughs> like, they got the vibe, they're really like, you know, they're educative, mm. very inspirational, you know, you get lots of tips, live tips every day. We're mm. growing human beings, so like, yeah, you know. Mm. Also, it's all for the vibe for you, the, the vibe. I check you, 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 you yeah, blinging, yeah, you're blinging, I check, I still vibe. Okay, so, um, uh, which one do you use most, if I can just say? Which ones do you use most and uh, what do you use them for? Uh, Instagram, Instagram. Uh, yeah, because 
It's for inspiration, I guess. Okay. Inspiration, lifestyle, you know, lots of follow lots of educative uh, platforms like Pan Africanism, you know, uh, I check, I check. different things, different okay. things, different Okay. Thank you, everyone. So, um, here. I was with my sister and she gave us um, her, her, her view and what she enjoys most on um, social platforms. Yeah, so thank you. So viewers, here with me is... Nokolam Zeleni. And... Ramal Abdul. Okay, so um, I'll start with Nokolo over here. Nokolo, can you tell me uh, what platforms do you use? And uh, yeah, let's start with that question first. Um, I use WhatsApp, Facebook and Instagram. Okay, um, can you tell me why you use those um, uh, platforms? Um, on Instagram, I get motivated. I see quotes that motivate me to keep going every day. On Facebook, I get entertained every day. Like that's why I get like it's more fun that side on Facebook. Okay, I'll ask Ramali over here. Uh, Rami, can you tell me uh, what platforms you use? Uh, mainly use WhatsApp and Instagram only. Okay, so you um, why do you use those um, social platforms? So basically, I avoid like avoid all the social platforms because like Facebook is overpopulated. It's like mass media; everyone is there. I use WhatsApp because it's encrypted. It's only between me and you. Instagram is like for promotional services and stuff like that. Oh, I check up right there. Yeah, so that was it from uh, me. Thank you. So we have heard from the people on the street what they consume and what they share. But let's hear from us as youth and as our bodies here. Edwin, what type of content do you share and what type of content do you consume on your daily basis? Okay, I thought I wouldn't be first, but <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Well, usually social media, um, since I say I prefer Instagram, mm -hmm. I consume the I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Really? You told okay. Me yeah. So Israel yeah. Of yeah. course, I check those Israel things and gives me more the desire to go to Israel, more the desire to learn about Israel. But usually on Instagram, on what is this? Um, YouTube. Yeah. So I know, like you know, you watch like the tutorials and things on Israel. I think that's really interesting. I think I also learn a lot from like social media. And like, what about you? What do you consume, Guru, on like the internet? Honestly, I can't say much. Um, on on YouTube, I I usually go for cooking because I love cooking. Oh yes. yes. I go for oh, cooking. Yes. And hair yep, tips because yep. I have really bad hair. <laughs> <laughs> and then, on Instagram, Instagram is a platform where I I have a bad taste in fashion, so oh. I go <laughs> on Instagram to, to check out how yeah. people dress up and then how you can how I can make it in a presentable manner. Oh yeah. How I prefer my taste, but also taking it from Instagram. Mm. And then mm. TikTok, I learn how to dance. <laughs> And yeah, that's, that's how it goes. No, yeah, like exactly. I think Instagram is very much a very good place to get like inspiration for things yes. and to like see what you want to do next, what you want to eat next, and quotes. And what and like quotes, oh yes, the quotes from Instagram are amazing. Oh, they're so good. And then I know like for me personally, it's a bit embarrassing, but um on like Instagram, so I have like these books, right? I, I read like fantasy sci-fi kind of books and I'll have like a whole bunch of fan fiction on my Instagram this morning <laughs> and it's so nice it's so nice to read and it's like so funny to me like it's like head cannons and everything mm -hmm. and I just like I like them I like like the depictions of people on from the book on like Instagram and like in visuals and yeah I mean I know um I know Ruben which is some pretty interesting stuff what do you what do you do on, well, like, for mostly, I, I spend most of my time on YouTube and I watch a lot of tutorials and yeah, I think YouTube is just a place to learn and I also spend yeah. most of my time on Instagram Reels and yeah, it's a pretty good place to stay entertained and to, you know, to know what's going on and I mean with the trending music that's always going on, like, you know, mm. those music actually really interesting and I heard that Ashton was actually posting some poems and... Hey, brother. 
So truly, I have like, okay. I'm not a poem or a poet to, mm-hmm. to say like that. But then I I can rhyme. I'm very oh, good with my share rhyme. What? Share what? Share, share what? Share what? Share what? Share what? Share what? Share what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll need to go back to my file of because there's a lot. But then uh, let me see. Let me see. Wait. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's not it's not as um nice as we think. But then. It's not that rhyme. So I'll just say it now. Yeah. So it's I long to see a time when you and I live a life with more pride, but grow the child who lead us to the light. So that's just the basic one, but then I can go deeper if I'm required to. So yeah, I mean I I I I think it's Facebook. I post a lot of poems there. Mm-hmm. Instagram. Oh, I watch a lot of videos there a lot. So you don't really do much posting on Instagram. On Instagram, I do, but then I post the the, the pictures only. The no, I'm very handsome, and I think people should see that I'm handsome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. No, actually, it's what not... didn't create me is this handsome to hide myself. <laughs> yeah. The world <laughs> must see. You understand? The world must see. It's yeah. not more about the likes. Mm. It's more about the confidence. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And no, man, Facebook, hey, I tried posting there my pictures. Hey, bro, one like, comment. That thing. Like, let me try different platforms. So, uh, Instagram, I guess I get 13, 20, and a five. Okay. I'm fine. 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 I'm the side like i do consume a lot but then not that much i actually take out i mm-hmm. give i'm the giving end on those oh, right. pl- uh, platforms so i actually give out yeah that's really yeah. good hey? uh, i think we have an expert that's going to be talking about the type of stuff we consume right. and share yeah Hi, I'm Sunny. I'm the social media community lead at CPR Marketing Solutions. I look after brands online, manage their online reputation, and also ensure that they're posting the right kind of content, they're meeting their business objectives. Um, Today, I'm going to talk to you about um, social media, how you you can use it, and um, safety on social media as well. So the most important thing that you should take into account is that your social media profiles and the content that you put out are an extension of you. If you, if you think of it, uh, most of the people that you, that you interact with, say on Facebook, you don't interact with them daily. So the way they perceive you, the way they think about you is influenced by uh, what they see you posting on social media. So it's also important not to not to chase like uh, vanity likes and all that. Just be yourself on social media. Um, share the things you like, even for platforms like Instagram and Twitter, where you think about um, where people chase after followers and all that. You will get authentic, real followers, meaningful followers if you actually post a part of you, like um, things that you like. Say um, on Facebook, it's mostly for connecting with your family, connecting with your friends. So. Just share those, not everything, but a certain part of it. The things that you want, you know, your grandma to see on Facebook. And then when it comes to a platform like Instagram, say you like cooking, you can be sharing your, your, your nice meals that you have cooked, or you like soccer, or, or something like that. It's, um, and then um, when sharing this content, it's important to think, to know that this has an effect on your online reputation in terms of don't share things that you don't want your grandmother to see, for instance, or you don't want your, your future kids, they will come back and scroll your profile to look at and see, ah, so grandma was like this. Um, and as well, when on social media, one of the important things is um, who you follow in terms of platforms like uh, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, it's very important to follow people who have, um, who post content that is, um, that is fitting uh, with, your, with your values. So in, um, in addition to what you share on social media, another important aspect is who you follow on social media. Because um, who you follow determines what you consume on social media. 
so these people will be sharing content that you consume and this content will shape your 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 views on certain things so it's important for you to for instance follow only people who fit in with our christian values so that you don't end up consuming things that will end up leading you astray and then um in terms of uh, your followers and friends and everything, um, it differs from platform to platform. Say, for instance, on Facebook. On Facebook, you should only be friends with people that you know, that you have had a personal relationship with. If a random person uh, friends you, do not accept. Uh, this might be someone who's a scammer or someone who's trying to, to say to... or a pervert or... People end up getting killed uh, through by people they met on social media. So you can, if someone invites you, you can go to them, see their mutual friends, or oh, they are all from high school. They are not this person from high school. You can accept, but do not. On platforms like um, like Instagram, you should you should and oh sorry, going back to Facebook. Also, you should be careful with uh, your privacy settings. Uh, make sure all your posts are only seen by your friends only because if you open it up, then your images may end up being downloaded by some strange people in faraway lands and you end up on the internet somewhere. And then uh, on platforms like, um, like, uh, like Instagram, where it's popular to get uh, DMs and all that, it's, um, you should be very careful with whom you are DMing. If you don't know the person, don't be talking to them on social media. Why are they talking to you? It's either they want to scam you or they want to do something unspeakable to you, or they, they'll end up killing you. So be careful in that regard. Okay, uh, some other general tips. You know, um, don't ever post anything if you are emotionally charged. If you are angry, you can be angry at your mom, and then you, you put it out on social media. And next thing, it makes the situation worse. Not only have you angered your mom, but you've also shared it on social media, and she's even angrier. And um, the next day, usually you regret such posts the next day. So if you are angry or emotionally charged, uh, let it cool down a bit, sleep over it. And then tomorrow, if you feel like posting it, then you can post it. And um, don't post anything you don't want to see on the headline of a newspaper. That's uh, magazines, anything. Uh, and then um, in terms of um, sharing on, um, on private networks like uh, WhatsApp, also don't share don't say anything or share anything like pictures images videos that you don't want your grandma to see or to be shown on the six o'clock news on tv nowadays there is um a prevalence of uh, cyber bullying on the internet uh someone posts their picture and then someone comes and comments oh what big ears and then they start making jokes about that uh, that is um whenever you you are on social media Always be positive and always remember you're communicating with people who have feelings and um, whatever you say there, also, if other people see it, it's also a reflection of you and it's, it's really not nice and you don't want to. So always be positive in your feelings. Always don't be negative. Don't be, if you have to tell someone off, you can tell them off offline. You can have those discussions offline. Online is not that kind of space. So from time to time and more often than not, you will encounter um, troublesome people on social media. Um, the first step to do is um, every social media platform has a, a reporting mechanism. Report tweet, report post. Do click on that. It's, it's valuable for you to, to report it to the social media platform. There's people on the other end who actually look at those and they will block the person or remove them or mark them and they'll, or delete that account. So from time to time, you will encounter uh, some people on social media. And um, the first step when you do is to report those people on the social media platform. Report tweet, report person, report message. There's a person at the other end um, working for Facebook, for Twitter, for these platforms, who actually looks at these reports and will ban these people and remove them from the platforms. And um, the most important thing is do not interact with people you do not know. And if there's anything, do report it. Do ban them from following you. Do ban them from seeing your content. Uh, blog. Yeah, stay safe.
was very insightful. I think we all learned a lot about social media and what we should be putting out there, what we shouldn't be putting out there. But I mean, what do you guys think? What, what was your takeaway, Edwin? Well, for me, like, I've learned that you should be mindful of what you post because content stays on the stays on the maybe in the background or something. Mm -hmm. It stays there. And okay. I've learned mostly that if I want to improve my cooking skills, with all of these platforms, like she was give, the person was giving us insights on like things we consume and the privacy and all of that. And like Google, what do you have to say about like well, what I've learned from from this is that um, I've seen a lot of girls and some guys on Instagram who like literally put their location on on their page, oh, okay. and this is not safe because yeah. of abductions and kidnapping. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think we should be aware of how we post things mm -hmm. and what we should we try to show the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because imagine posting something that is inappropriate and then. Your children and go like, oh, my mom did this, my mom. Do not think this at school or something. They were there to post it. It wouldn't be fair for the future generation. Mm. So we should be mindful of what we post. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, one hundred percent. I totally agree with you. And just like. Whatever you post, if you wouldn't want to have it, this is what my teacher said like during a lesson, if you wouldn't want to have it posted on like a big billboard in the middle of the city, then would you have it on your social media? And since then, I think I've been very, very picky with what I choose. So I think that's a great takeaway and something that we should all just think about and everything. And what about you, poet? I, mean, poet. No, I learned poetry, <laughs> like, I should like, no, check the security settings, Bawana. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to scroll driver. Hema, everything. Double check. So I'm, I'm secure. Yeah, because eh, hey, yeah. Mm. It's it's really it's not easy. It's hard yeah, to check it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Gotta <laughs> check the streets. And yeah, you Ruben, like what did you what else did you take away from this? Yeah. I think you said everything for me, like when you spoke about if you wouldn't have it on like in the middle of the city, in a billboard, <laughs> like you wouldn't want to post it on social media if you wouldn't have it out there. Oh yeah. And personally, I, I don't really post much on social media anyway, yeah. so yeah. I, I think we all really did learn a lot from this, oh, and I yes. hope that the people watching and the people in the studio, I hope you guys learn as well. Um, there's really a lot to take away from here, and you guys should make sure to tune into the next swag show that's coming up next week or whenever it comes out on the Safe with Amazing Grace. Yes, um, sir. We'll see you guys next I'm, time. I'm, yeah. <laughs> Hell, man. And on the same note of social media, please do not forget to follow our social media, Impact for Christ Ministries, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, and also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, which has got like very good live services and all of these good skits and all of that, all of that is just really good on our social media. And you can just really find us on social media. You know, add a little bit of that good stuff to your social media. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So to everybody, to those people in studio, to the people at home, make sure you stay swag, safe with Amazing, Amazing Grace. Grace.